Okay, it is 8.35 Zulu time, and that's the end of my antenna. The antenna is deployed. Uh, let's see here, yeah, follow this line up here. It goes up there is our center insulator. I don't know if you can really see it up there. Bam. Now, one thing we do want to go over is one safety concern that we'll have whenever we deploy an antenna like this. We're going to be using the antenna today on 40 meters. Now, the part of the antenna that's actually in the air, the big long part, this part right here, is a half wavelength long on 40 meters. That means that this end is going to be at a high voltage uh, potential whenever we transmit. Now, normally we want to get this up high above anybody's hands, it's mainly so that some, uh, some idiot doesn't come by and grab it, but it, because um, the high voltage potential will exist on this end whenever we transmit, there will be a, a chance for somebody who touches this or is in close proximity to this to get burned uh, from RF energy. That's one of the reasons, by the way, why CBers who transmit with a lot of power kind of get me upset a little bit. The RF energy that uh, is used to create a CB transmission happens to be uh, a wavelength that the human body is resonant on. So when you're near it, you absorb it. You get all that nice RF energy in your body. And now I like playing with radios, but I don't necessarily like uh, a lot of RF voltage in my body. All right, so that's the W3EDP antenna deployed in an inverted V. Now you notice we have a leg that kind of slopes down. Doesn't quite slope nice and pretty like, but you know what? It works well enough. We'll see that in just a minute here.